Your Majesty. I've closed for the day. I want to go home to my husband. You are not just working here. You are living with us. My dear, you serve my daughter and I, Lewis, like a wife who serves her husband as her daughter. What, what's the difference? No, Your Majesty. No. If I do not go home, my husband won't be happy. I do not want to hurt you or make you feel bad about it. You have your room. You can go to your village on weekends and return on Sunday evening. On my permission. No. No, Your Majesty. That wasn't part of the SOP when I was employed. The last chef that walked here was a living chair. I still want you to go to your room and think about what we're discussing this afternoon. I am somebody's wife. God knows I love my husband. God knows that I love you so much, Obedi. Okay, I am not a womanizer, otherwise you would have been seen in behinds of beautiful women in and out of the palace. Chiko Kika Abiyama has a reason for bringing you here for you to be my customer. Think about this. Excuse me, Your Majesty. What is this thing now? What is all this? Why can't I go back to my husband? For what? Ha! Huh. I'm not doing this work, oh. I will just go and tell him that I am no longer working. I quit. How can he be telling me to my face that I should be his queen? When he knows that I am a married woman. I am married. For the fact that I saved you in the bush, that doesn't mean I have to be your queen. And the most annoying part that is, doesn't even want to listen to anything. Huh. I will just go and tell him that I am no longer working. I'm no longer working. I can't even leave the palace. I can't leave the palace on his permission. I, I didn't sign up for this, so I did not sign up for this at all. I'm no longer working here. I will just go and tell him that I quit. Uh -uh. My love, listen to me. Listen to me. When you return by weekend, eh? I want you to tell me everything that happened. I also have some things to discuss with you. Alright, my love. But just know that I'm not happy. I'm not happy at all. I mean, I didn't sign up for this. You know I can't go a day without you. Without seeing you. How do you want me to cope? Look, I don't want to work again. I am no longer working here. My lovely... My love, if you have a good reason for quitting the job, then that's okay. I don't have a problem with that. But I want you to stop getting angry, please. Alright? I love you. I want us to keep talking. I'm not feeling sleepy yet. So what do you want to eat this night? Is that what you want to eat? You know, if I was home, I would have made something. Last lady, even without tasting her food. Ever since then, you haven't said anything about it. Do you want to discuss about it now? No. Alright then. But if I must comment, the two last ladies are very good. I prefer if anyone to Okichi. She will resume work tomorrow morning. Make available a room for her. Thank you, Father. Good 
night. Good night. Why did the king employ me without testing my food? What really happened? This is really unbelievable. I didn't know I'd be employed in, in such a surprising manner. My love. My love. Mm -hmm. Are you sleeping? Mm -hmm. I'm still shocked at what happened at Anyoma's palace. I'm still very shocked. I'm, 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 I'm surprised why the king would employ me without, without tasting my food. It's very rare. You should be the one to tell me what happened at the palace. Honey, what happened is that the king employed me without testing my food. He made me the palace chef. And the princess called to tell me that I will be resuming work first thing tomorrow morning. Is that not rare? Tomorrow morning? Yes. My love. Maybe Chukuki Kiyabiyama has answered our prayers. Have you thought about it? Have you thought about that? It's possible. Come and sleep. Bless you, my daughter, for loving my poor family unconditionally. Eh? You will be blessed beyond measures. Oh, Mama, it's okay. Do not bother yourself, okay? I know that your father hates my son, but you always come here to clean the compound, wash my clothes. You even bought my medicines with your money. Help, Mama. my daughter. You are a blessing to your world. Oh, you will not die young. You see, help. We always come to you at time of difficulties. You see, Mama, Mama, thank you. But are you now accepting that I will take you to the hospital for better treatment? No, my daughter. It is too late. Eh? I'm going to meet my husband on the other world. Well, what does that mean? Oh, Mama. What oh. do you mean you are going to meet your husband? Meet your husband where? Mama, sick people go to the hospital. I've been begging you to go to the hospital. You said no. Mama, Mama no. don't say that. No, I'm going to see you. Mama, no. You're going not to no. meet my husband sooner or later. <laughs> <laughs> Mama, I'm going to go to the hospital. Mama, I'm going to go to the hospital. Mama, Mama, no, I'm don't see that. Uh, no problem. Go and Mama, meet no. Mama, you're breaking us down. Michael. Hey, Michael. Okay. I'm Ma going to die. Mama, I'm not even Mike. Mama, look, I'm going to be with Carol. You're not going to die. Oh, I promise yeah. you that. Okay. Stop breaking us now. You're breaking your son. You're breaking us. Oh, I'm, I'm not dead. Michael. <laughs> Please hurry. Bring the food fast. <clears throat> <laughs> Mom, 
my daughter. Thank you very much. Mama, I'm too much salt. No, no. do you like the food? Yes. Mama, you need to eat some more food before it gets cold. Yes, yes. Huh? Uh, I'm eating. I'll finish all of them. I'm weak. So Oh, I Where is my daughter? Where is my daughter, Ure? I am asking, where is my daughter? Spark, sir. Go inside there and sack everywhere for my daughter, sir. If you see my daughter, bundle her out of this place. Okay? Do that quickly. And you, you are giving me too much headache. If my daughter comes out of that house, she will never smile this country again because of you. Of course, I haven't done anything. You haven't done anything. Wait! Sir, I hope I don't. I searched everywhere. You searched everywhere? Yes, sir. Are you sure? Yes, sir. Ah. Is that your gimme? But let me tell you something. Love your life. I am giving you final advice because of this woman. Love your life and leave my daughter alone. But if you hate your life, then let me see you come anywhere close to my daughter again. Only then, I will clearly define to you what it means to go to her. I will not take anything easy. I'm just counting my steps. When it gets to the final point, I will tell you who I am. Now you're going to love. You're going to love. If you all tell me to you. Ure, you have to go, please. I don't want you here. If your father comes and sees you, I'll get into trouble. I don't want problems, please. Michael, I've told you not to worry about my father. I'll handle it. I've already called my aunt to tell him that I'm not coming back home. Besides, we had an issue, so I left the house. So that's a better excuse. I don't even know. I, I'm, I'm kind of feeling something strange. Can you guys, by the way, look. Worry less about my dad, okay? Let me go and give Mama her medication. You know she has not taken her drugs today. Hmm? I'll be back. She's not moving, she's not breathing. I want to rule this land. I don't care about what the tradition says. Neither do I care about being a royal blood. All I know is that I have money. I know that I have what it takes to become the king of Anioma Kingdom. And so my elders, I want you to help me. Give me your advice on how to go about this. Because for all I know, the man that presently sits as the king of Anioma Kingdom, I am more competent than him. Uh, Chief, I wanted to get this right. 
royalty is bestowed on the Megafo family. From where Chifokaka come from. Our customs and tradition cannot be influenced without due consultation. Else, we we'll cut ourselves on the legs in an attempt to cut the grass. You're right. Igwe Okaka has no son. And the princess cannot rule over us as king, except ordained by her own father with the approval to marry a man of Akwatu Anyam. Who will eventually take over from the Igwe? History has it that your clan, which is Amit Anyama, has never produced any king. Amit Anyama only produces the chief priest, the custodian of Ubuja, the goddess of Anyama, not the king. This stone age procedure has become obsolete that it lacks the validation of the modern day society. The governor has refused to grant a meditative anoma. The autonomy we have been asking for. That is why I must ascend the throne as the king of Anoma Kingdom. That is where the problem lies. Igwe Okaka must be dead before we can strike or implement anything. But right now, as we speak, he's very healing and hearty. Healing and hearty. Oh, yes. Very healing. You say he's healed and hearty. What is my business with him being healed and hearty? All I want is I want to be the king of a new kingdom. And whatever I do it, it is not important how he feels. I must be the king of a new kingdom. I believe you, Chief. Yes. And it must be achieved. However it happens, does not really matter. A man who is closer to his brother receives the smell of his mouth. Both of you are closer to Okaka. You are both closer to the king. And I want you to carry out the hatchet job for me. Anyhow, I want to be the king of Anima Kingdom. Yes. I had police now guards the palace. Azuka is always ahead. Hello. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. Sorry, the person that does POS here, do you know where he is? No, he has not come out yet. He has not? Yes. <sighs> Sorry, please, do you know where he stays? I don't know, I don't know. Mm. Mm. <sighs> oh, gosh. <sighs> How come I didn't even collect his number? How careless can I be? <sighs> oh gosh.
Good afternoon, ma'am. Fine, thank you. Ma, please, may I use your seat for a few minutes? Thank you very much. Your Majesty. You are the one. What's your name? M My name is Okechuko Anosike, Your Majesty. Okechuko Anosike? Yes, Your Majesty. You serve the king. Me? Save the king. How, your majesty? I did not implore you to the palace to become my chef, but to become my queen. Are you okay? Oh, uh, yeah, uh, I'm fine. His Majesty wants to see me in the chambers. His Majesty. Yes, ma'am. Ma, please calm down. Don't be nervous. Excuse me. What is all this? What does the king want from me? What does he want? I already told him that I am married. But he wouldn't even listen to me. Look, I, I am in the palace to work as a chef, not to be his queen. Why can't you understand me? Why can't you understand that I am married? He wants me to be his queen. Am I dreaming? Is this a dream? Is this how he behaves? Oh God. How else do I tell him that I am married? What does he want? God, God, please, please, help me. Help me, do not tempt me this way. Please, Lord, help me. If you want, stop it! What's wrong with you? Stop it! Are you crazy? If you want, what's wrong with you? Please stop it! A man of integrity, so brave and strong. I love the He loved his wife so much. Not even money can be exchanged for their love. Not even fake news can affect their love. We are so, we are so. 
In the face of temptation, he stand faith. He said, "Display my." Good afternoon, sir. He believes so much on his wife. Oh. He never want to sell his hand because of bread or wrong information. What can I have for you? I know you're married. I can see the ring. But the truth is, I can't let you go. Your Majesty, please. I am barely six months in my marriage. I truly love my husband. Please don't love me. Just take me as your staff. Take me as your own daughter. I don't have a father to daughter feeling towards you. Your Majesty, you said I, I saved you from being used for rituals in your dream. But that's an angel of God using my face, not me. Your Majesty, I have never seen you before. In fact, this is the first time I'm encountering you. It's an angel of God. And the angel of God stepped into my palace, walked inside my room and standing right here in my presence gorgeous beautiful and ready to save and protect me again uh, god has a purpose for using your face your majesty there is no purpose i am newly married i, I cannot leave the love of my life and be your queen your majesty Please, this is my first day at work. Please, Your Majesty. Oh, let you go. God in heaven sent you here for a purpose. You are not in the palace by accident. You are here to fulfill a delicate mission. You see, I need a queen. And that queen is you. It doesn't matter your marital status. All I know is that I am going to make you my queen, no matter what it will cost me. Your Majesty. Come here. What kind of a redundancy is this? How can you be a maid in the palace yet you don't know the whereabout of the princess? Are you kidding me? I'm sorry, sir. My work here is to save and run errands and not to monitor the whereabouts of the princess. Thank you. Please can I go? Thank yourself and get out! Go ahead! Run! This is getting crazy. Where is Urema? How can she... Greetings, sir. Greetings. Excuse me, please come. Yes, come, please. You are the new chef, I presume? Yes, sir, I am. Oh. oh sorry, my, my name is Maxwell. I'm the princess's fiancé. Oh, you're welcome, sir. Thank you. My name is Oke Chuku. Oh. Okay, yes, yes, sir. Beautiful name. Thank you, sir. Oh, wow. 
beautiful and well calculated. Oh, Rena, you better pick my call now. You better pick my I'm fine. You are your wife. Every time, play, 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 play. Yeah? Every time. <laughs> Do you people want to give birth to Kotu? I have words. Yeah? How far now? Well, I thought your wife had gone to Anyoma. Why, why is she? Not? Yes, yes, yes. No, no. I don't understand. Yes, I know. <laughs> you both of you, the play is too much. It got to your brain. Huh? <laughs> yeah? Why is she? Why is she? How far now? How, how far? You, you didn't go to work today? No, no, I went, I went, I went, I went there. Well, there was no much thing. Just that the engineer called me to, you know, let us cross check the places that we chunk uh, cement. So I just had to, you know, go and rush back again. Yeah, okay. Yeah, but on my way, coming back, yeah. I saw one beautiful, fair lady. Yeah. Yes, you know, I saw the lady while I was there and I still saw her again. And she was sitting down somewhere around the shop, like, see, she's waiting for me. So I, I decided to come and find out if you are owing anybody. You know, all these POS, you do transfer, it doesn't uh, come back or, you know, that kind of thing. Waiting you know. for me, waiting for me. Yeah, she's a very beautiful girl, Odi. <laughs> mm. <laughs> very beautiful um, girl. do we say? Mm? Uh, since you did not go to work, mm. uh, let's, go, let's go to my shop. Huh? I said, let's go to my shop. See, uh, maybe I missed it. The point that I tried to the site and I trekked back. Okay. So I'm so hungry. That's why I came so that your wife will give me food. Okay. Oh no no no. Um, my wife did not prepare anything. Ah. What kind of what kind of uh, 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 hunger strike is that? Just the same way my wife has not prepared food for over three days now. Did they have any meat? Do BC. My wife did not prepare anything. I'm offering you an opportunity to eat. Let's go to my shop. I'll get something no, for you no to eat. There's no way your wife cannot prepare anything. It'll be your wife again. And you know your wife cooks this kind of food that has Undo this kind of high flavor. Let's go to the shop. I'll get something for you to eat. I promise. <laughs> Do you know what I'm making them? Chief, Chief. <laughs> I'm happy that you're in town. Yeah, uh, sorry I should have come to see you myself, but you know this work here and there. You know, it's a privilege to have you in my house. Thank you very much. So how's your family? We are doing great, thank to the gods. <laughs> nice one. My bar is stopped, so what, what drink will you want to have? Uh, uh, Chief, please. I'm okay. I'm okay sure, for that. Right? Yes. Then in that case, follow. Oh. You know of our kingdom. <laughs> chief, chief. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, well, I just hope I did you do. Mm, you can have this since you don't want to have refreshment in my house. That's two million naira. Ah, chief, this is too much. All this for me. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. I really appreciate. Yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> You're so generous. Thank you, chief. Yes. Um, when I become the king of the kingdom, so much will be coming from that every now and then for you. <laughs> Chief, I don't think I really understood what it meant by that. Oh, 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 I think I should make it clearer for you. I intend to be the king of Anioma Kingdom. And I will be needing your help as the Prime Minister of the Kingdom to achieve that purpose. And if you let it hit the ground, I will make sure that your children will continue to enjoy scholarship in this kingdom. I, Azuka, have mm. said it. Uh, Chief, you know that uh, in this kingdom, 
Men don't choose king for us. The gods do. You are not a stranger. And I don't think I have the power to challenge the gods. Oh, my kingdom. <laughs> well, um, just take the money. Go think deep. I quite understand that you are really stunned to have two million naira in your hand. So maybe when you sleep or wake up, you might try to understand what I'm saying. <laughs> no, I know you're capable <laughs> of joining me to become the king of this kingdom. Chief, chief. Uh, I really have to see this kind of job, but I cannot go with the money. Thank you very much. Oh no, that is two million naira. Side of my brain escaped from me just like that. Ah, if anyone, you did not do this one like it's you. Eh? How in the world did that handsome man that looks so sweet escape from me? How did I even get him? I'm blaming myself. Well. I don't want that. Ichi want that. I will try again. And when that happens, I will make sure he never escapes from me. Yep. Feeling that. Oh. If you, my Isiad will be Why is the new way go and all the way from Isiad go? <laughs> I thought you said you, you you are going to see your friend at I am back. Yeah. And your mom is not over there, sir. And your mom is very far. There is no way you could have come back immediately. But I just told you that I am back. Will you stop disturbing my ears? You're giving me a headache. Eh? Uh huh. How can you get a headache? Huh? I'm not going. It's a level for me. Thank God that you're back. You know, I've actually been hoping that you come back. Eh? My beautiful wife, all the way from Michigan. You know what? Um, my body system is so, so on fire. Yes, so I, I want to drop. <laughs> you want to drop? Yes, now. So, you now run Kabu Kabu or a taxi driver that you now want to drop me on and off, off and on everywhere you go. You want to drop? What do you want to drop? My wife. Don't you understand the normal sign language that a colon and wife can use? What's useless now? sign language? I want to drop. Drop what? Your mates are out there looking for what to do with their time. Your own is to look for what to drop, where to drop. When to drop and how to drop it. Lazy monkey. Go and look for something to do with your time. See, listen to me. I am not a lazy man and I cannot be a lazy man. My age grade are having children and I've gone to like five child dedications in recent time. So it is high time I had my own children. So, eh? what will you use in taking care of those children? Your age mates. Are having children because they have a job to take care of these children. What do you have to take care of them? Or will you now come and put it on my head? I will take care of you and I will take care of the useless children you want to make. Eh? If you say, I am not a jobless man. Mm. I have a job that I am doing. I am an engineer. The truth remains that there is no work at the site, and that is why I am at home. Then go to another site. 
Is that the only site in this village? I see new new buildings being erected every day in this village. Must it be that one? Can't you go to another site? Lazy man, I am asking you. Go to another site and stop looking for where you will drop shamelessly. Shameless husband of mine. Yeah, I know you are doing all these things are doing now so that you just, you know, get me angry and out of this world. But I cannot talk about that. Don't, don't, don't. I cannot. Even lace, kakabu, don't even. Is it? Is it chevron? Did you know you? I said, hmm. Come here. Yeah, what Leave me alone. See. Please, um, please, please, not. 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 Are you mad? I ran away. You baby, I'm gonna tap you. I'll bite your ear off. No, never mind. I'll do that myself. Okay, my princess. You're still here? You're married? Yes, my princess. Happily married. I see. That's great. Thank you, my princess. So, I think you're going to be the best person I can have this conversation with. I want to talk. I'll come see you in your room later. All right, my princess. Hello, Max. Hello, Max. Babe, you not call me by my name? Oh. Hello, babe. Forgive me. Forgive you. It's not about forgiving you. I mean, you called me Max, and this is not the first time this is happening. What's going but on? But I just corrected myself. Didn't I? Oh, it's not about being sorry. But it's okay. I I went to the office. You're not there. I now decided to come to the palace and also met your absence. Where have you been? Max, please. Mm. Can we not just do this? I am so exhausted. As you can see, I am resting. Max, please. Again, you called me Max. What is wrong with you? Max, you are nagging. The last time I checked, it is the women that nag and not the men. Excuse me. Wow, well, I'm nagging right now? Princess! Father. Yes? What about the company you said you were going to acquire in Rwanda? I'm working towards it. Father, you haven't still told me why you chose Obechi over Oh, Obechi, I am not in the mood for all of that talk now. If you say so. Max was here. Did you see him? Yes, I did. Father, guess who I saw yesterday? Uh. Just. Guess. Uri, you know, I'm not good in that. I, I, I'm not just in that quiet mood for this kind of uh, this and all that. Never mind. I thought you knew him. Father, 
Is everything all right? You don't I'll, 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 I'll be fine. I will just be doing fine. Your Majesty, my princess, the table is set. Oh, okay. All right. Father, she said the food is served. Yeah, that, that's what she said. All right, shall we? My princess, please come in. Uh, you're welcome, my princess. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Seem like the clothes are ready. Yes, my princess, I'm done for the day. How is the first day at home? Very good, my princess, very good. Thank you, my princess. Yes, my princess. I like you. I like you. <sighs> Thank you, my princess. And I want to ask you something. Okay, my princess. Go ahead. Thank you. <laughs> Please sit. I want to ask you. Yes, my princess. Have you ever loved someone to the point that you can't let go of that person? Mm -hmm. Maybe something happened and you both lost communication. No contacts, nothing. And then, when you try to forget about this person, after so many years, you bump into this person. Mm. And then the love ignites again. I am confused. I don't know. I still love him. I love him very much. What do you advise me to do? My princess, the truth is, it depends on the status of this guy. If he's not married, or not in any relationship, then things can still get on track. But if he's engaged and he loves that person so much, then it will be totally uncalled for, my princess. I love him. And I still want things to get back the way it used to be, or even better. You know, I promised his late mother that I will always be there for him. And I will not watch him suffer. I want to give him five million naira to start up a new business. Yeah. Wow. Get a house for him at the city. Get a new car. Then we can start all over you know, our love story. That's really good, my princess. That's a beautiful one. But, um, are you not in a relationship? No. I am not. Oh. My father wants to force Max on me. Max? Yeah, Max. I do not love him. I was trying to... See if I could fake loving him. But then, I was at the verge of doing that until I ran into the love of my life, Michael. Michael? 
Yes, Michael, the man I have ever loved. I gave him my virginity at the age of 18. I love him with everything. I love everything about him. So you see, Max can't work. <laughs> so, why did you guys separate? You never separated. I traveled to Europe for my study. Somehow, along the line, we lost contact. Mm. No phone numbers, no communication. That was the time I wanted to bring him over, secretly. <laughs> yeah, my father really? never liked him. Do you know I rejected Sutton's because of him? <laughs> Funny. But you know, I guess God answered my prayers. He did. <laughs> so, if he is not married, can I shoot my shots? Sure. Why not? Look, you need to let him know that you still love and care for him. And it's also a good thing to pull him out from poverty. So go ahead. Go ahead, shoot your shot. Thank you. Need I remind you that you are a living chef? Your Majesty, I've closed for the day. I want to go home to my husband. You are not just working here. You are living with us. My dear. You serve my daughter and I, views, like a wife serves her husband and stepdaughter. What, what, what's the difference? No, Your Majesty. No. If I do not go home, my husband won't be happy. I do not want to hurt you or make you feel bad about it. You have your room. You can go to your village on weekends. Return on Sunday evening. On my permission. No. No, Your Majesty. That wasn't part of the SOP when I was employed. The last chef that walked here was a living chef. I still want you to go to your room and think about what we're discussing this afternoon. I am somebody's wife. God knows I love my husband. God knows that I love you so much, Ogeji. I'm not a womanizer, otherwise you would have been seen in behinds of beautiful women in and out of the palace. Chiko Kika Abiyama has a reason for bringing you here for you to be my customer. Think about this. Excuse me, Your Majesty. My life and the life of this kingdom lies in her hands. I can't lose her, no matter her background. What is this thing now? What is all this? Why can't I go back to my husband? For what? I am not doing this work all. I will just go and tell him that I am no longer working. I quit. How can he be telling me to my face that I should be his queen? When he knows that I am a married woman. I am married. For the fact that I saved you in the bush, that doesn't mean I have to be your queen. And the most annoying part that he doesn't even want to listen to anything. I will just go and tell him that I am no longer working. I'm no longer working. I can't even leave the palace. I can't leave the palace on his permission. I, I didn't sign up for this, so I did not sign up for this at all. I'm no longer working here. I will just go and tell him that I quit. Uh-uh.
my love, listen to me, listen to me. When you return by weekend, eh, I want you to tell me everything that happened. I also have some things to discuss with you. All right, my love. But just know that I'm not happy. I'm not happy at all. I mean, I didn't sign up for this. You know I can't go a day without you. Without seeing you. How do you want me to cope? Look, I don't want to work again. I am no longer working here. My love, my love, if you have a good reason for quitting the job, then that's okay. I don't have a problem with that. But I want you to stop getting angry, please. All right? I love you. I want us to keep talking. I'm not feeling sleepy yet. So what do you want to eat this night? Is that what you want to eat? You know, if I was home, I would have made something special, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I miss you so much. Yes. I can't wait to see you soon. Alright. <laughs>